Hi guys, it's Mr. Like. Today, I am at Hy-Vee in East Davenport, and I've got Katie Schaefer with us. She's the dietitian at Hy-Vee. She knows all about how foods are really good for us and how they make us healthy. She's going to talk to us today and even get to show me around and get a look at some of the cool foods that they have here at Hy-Vee. Let's see what she has to say. Um, my name is Katie. I am a registered dietitian with hy -Vee. Um Lots of people don't really know what the word dietitian means, but basically what it means is I get to help people be healthy through the foods that they eat and the beverages that they drink. Um, so we do a lot of things with my plate, as you can see here. I'm missing dairy up here on the top, but we talk a lot about having a good balanced meal, having our, all of our food groups throughout the day, and making sure we're eating things that we enjoy eating, but we're eating them in the right amounts. So my mom is actually a dietitian. So I grew up with her um, teaching me kind of all those things. Maybe sometimes I didn't like it, but lots of times I did. So that's what I wanted to do after high school. So I went to Iowa State University, if I have any Cyclone fans out there. Um, I had four years there, and then to be a dietitian, you have to do a little internship. It's like a mini job beforehand that you don't get paid for. And then you go out into the field after you take your test. So I did all that, and then I have been a dietitian at Heidi for about five years now. One of the ways that I teach the people I work with about eating healthy is using our MyPlate. So remember, MyPlate has all five of our food groups. So we have fruits, vegetables, protein, grains, and then pretend there's a little circle up here for dairy. All five of our food groups do different things for our bodies, makes us healthy. We want to make sure that we're getting all five every single day. So it's important to know which foods go in which groups so you know that you're getting all five. So let's go check out which foods fall into which categories. So these are all vegetables, right? Oh yeah. Why are they all green? Are all vegetables green? Not all vegetables are green. Having all sorts of colors of vegetables is beneficial for us because it gives different health benefits, okay, different nutrients, things Thank like you. that. But green is great. If you don't love green, you can get a bunch of different colors too. Can we look at some others that aren't green? Oh yeah, we'll go look at some other colors. So here we've got lots of different colors of vegetables. Now remember on our my plate, we want to have vegetables either in this top quarter or the whole half plate if we can. So you've got green over here, and green's going to have some good vitamins like vitamin K in there. We've got yellow and reds that are going to have vitamin A and vitamin C, and they're all going to do really good things for our bodies. So when we're eating our vegetables, we want to pick as many different colors as we can. We want your plate to almost look like a rainbow. Now we're talking. These are my favorite. I am a huge fan of fruit. Fruit's good for you, right? Fruit is great for you. It's got lots of antioxidants that help fight off sickness. It's got good vitamins and minerals too. Awesome. And there's all kinds of different colors of fruit here. We've got lemons and oranges. Um, do we want to eat the rainbow of fruit too, or is that as big Same a deal? thing with fruit as it is with vegetables. So we want as many different colors as possible because each different color gives you a different health benefit. Fruit is great for us, so we want to have it in that bottom quadrant because it gives us lots of energy. Oh, and energy is important. <laughs> grain group would be things like bread or pasta, rice, popcorn, cereal, all those types of yummy foods. They are going to give us really good energy, so we want to make sure a quarter of our plate is full of grains. Some of these meats are really my favorite. I hear you gotta have uh, a lot of protein, a lot of meat to get big and strong. Is that true? Yeah, so foods that are high in protein help us build strong muscles. They also keep us full. So if we have protein at meals, we aren't gonna go and grab our other snacks and things like that. 
So all these foods are protein foods. So our chicken and our beef and our seafood. But so is things like peanut butter or beans or tofu, lentils. We have lots of different options for protein. Another way to get strong bones is eating our dairy foods. So dairy foods are really high in calcium and those give us strong bones and strong teeth. So things that fall in the dairy category are going to be our cheeses, our milk, our yogurt, and even our ice cream falls into the dairy category. I am all about fruits and vegetables and grains and proteins. But I gotta tell you, Katie, when I go shopping for my family, we're all about the pizza. <laughs> Is that a good meal? So pizza, when you combine it with other things, can make a balanced meal. So with your pizza, you have your grains, you have your dairy, sometimes you even have protein in it too. But you wanna have either some vegetables on your pizza or some fruit on it or even those things on the side. So you've got all five food groups in your meal. That's pretty important, right? When we plan a meal, we wanna hit all of the five food groups. Oh yeah, and it's easy to do that. Lots of times people think it's a little complicated, but lots of times if you take your favorite meal, like maybe a peanut butter sandwich, maybe you add an apple and some carrots or some popcorn on the side, you're gonna be covered and you'll have all five food groups there. All right, Katie, I'm getting hungry. <laughs>